See guys, look at me. This is the face of a big girl. Oh my goodness. Pray loves these things. I'm going on my first road trip. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another dog vlog. I shouldn't have to say this, but the two doggos are playing, so if you hear that, it's just gonna be a constant now in the background, that and like squeaker toys. I feel like if you're coming to a dog channel, you expect to hear those things, but I just feel like I still have to address them and be like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> But today we are about to head out for our first weekend with all three dogs And so I thought we should probably just film a little video and see how that goes and how I pack and get ready to travel for a weekend away with three dogs first up We're packing for our 10 year old black lab and golden retriever mix named Naya This is Cohen's dog and he's had her since she was eight weeks old She's our lightest traveler So that's why we're starting with her and then of course we have my two-year-old Australian Shepherd Freya I usually pack really heavy for her um, especially when she was little you know first time mom had to be like prepared for absolutely everything but we are also packing for our 10 week old golden retriever puppy named Bela even though she's the smallest of the three she has the most stuff that we have to pack for her because we do have to pack like her crate and her playpen and stuff it will be a game of Tetris of how we fit all of this into the car so we can all travel together we're hoping we can all travel together if it doesn't fit because it's our first time trying it we will have to drive two separate vehicles which is okay but we're gonna try our best to get everybody in one vehicle and usually when I pack for the dogs I use this giant Ikea reusable bag because it's the largest reusable bag that we have so I will be trying my best to fit everybody's like toys and food and everything of like the little things that we will need in this bag for all of us I feel like we could do it and then we'll just have the crate and the playpen separately that'll have to like get fit into the car the food is the most important part so I never want to forget food stuff this is Bela's slow feeder that she uses it's super soft and super squishy but it is a slow feeder which I absolutely love feeding Freya out of as well but this is just like for puppies it's not too hard on their little snoots and their teeth so we gotta pack Bela's slow feeder and behind this door of all of our collars leashes and bandanas is all of the dog food and so normally I was about to say when I open this the dog's I'm running but I also need to pack Freya's slow feeder which is a snuffle mat and Naya's food bowl that way they can all have dinner once we get down there Bela did have her lunch already but the other two dogs have not eaten dinner I need y'all out of here thank you hey get your snoot out of the puppy's food come on get out I would love to have a different way of packing dog food so if you have another idea please let me know because right now I just use like Ziploc baggies but I hate doing that because of course it's like not that great for the environment and we can't bring like their giant like plastic containers of their food or their bags like we don't have room for three dogs and all of their food I only need the food that we need to bring for now I I just use Ziploc baggies, but we do need to like label them all for everybody's food because Freya is allergic to chicken and Naya's food has chicken in it. And then the puppy's food is like puppy food. So they all basically eat different foods and we need to make sure they all stay separate. So Freya and Naya need five bags each because they will have dinner tonight, breakfast tomorrow, dinner tomorrow, breakfast, dinner. We usually don't feed them dinner because we come home Sunday night, but I always like to have an extra bag either to use as training treatos or just, you know, whatever. If we get stranded or we end up staying I never want to like not have food. So I always bring extra. We got five for Naya. What's different for Bela is that she eats more than the other two dogs in terms of like frequency. So she eats three times a day. And I don't want to bring that many bags because like that is just unnecessary. So I think what I'm going to do is have like a Saturday. Bela just rang the bells. I hope that was on purpose and not on accident because this is like the first time that like she's rang the bells. <gasps> Come here, good girl. Good girl. Say, mommy, I ring the bells. Mommy, I have to go potty. I ring the bells all by myself because I'm a big girl. I don't know if you did it on accident or not, but we're going to roll with it. I hear bells. We go potty. BRB. She went poo poo and pee pee, guys. Ah! We love that, huh? Yeah, big sissy. Say, little sissy's using your bells and she went potty. She's so good, huh? Say, guys, look at me. This is the face of a big girl. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. Back to what we were doing, packing food. We're doing five bags for the big dogs, but I think what I'm gonna do is just pack two bags for Bela and just put like her full amount that she's supposed to eat that entire day and I'll just like split it up as I see fit because I don't wanna bring like seven bags of food for her. But we got three different colored Sharpies, red, green, and blue, and we're gonna label these bags. 
that way I don't get anything mixed up and nobody gets chicken when they're not supposed to and nobody gets puppy food when they're not supposed to. Bela is red, Freya is blue, and Naya is green. That is my method. If you have a better method, please help me. <laughs> but that's what I've been using so far, even just on weekends away with the two dogs. I split them up and label them, so let me know. So we have all the dog food labeled and bagged up. Bela's in her pen because she wouldn't leave me alone while I was trying to bag up the food because of course there's food out. Food done. I always bring my little treat pouch with me. I got this one off Amazon. It is one of my favorites. Super basic. I have other like cutesy ones, but I always bring this one with me. I will link it down below. We're going to Cohen's parents' house, which is like out in the country. And so this is the set that I always bring Freya whenever we're like out and about. It's her Arcadia Trail. And it's a little rope leash and a rope collar. And this is her Quelo dog tag. Of course, we have to use these to get her into the car, but I'm pulling these out because we are getting ready to go. We're gonna pack some toys up and definitely the ones that I've noticed that she likes chewing on or playing with specifically Bela. <laughs> Freya will play with anything but Bela really likes some of these more than others. Avocado thanks and her puppy bone. This is like a puppy Benna bone or like a Nyla bone. She likes chewing on Freya so I got her one of her own. Freya has some ear medication that we need to bring with us. We should bring our own towel. Every time we go down to his parents house the dogs get all muddy and dirty which is fine but then I feel bad using like their towels to like clean them off. We always forget to bring our own because like this is usually stacked up with my good towels and then there's like the towels that are used to clean up like messes and stuff so these are the doggo towels. Towel. Cohen just threw some treats in here. These ones are from and they're little crunchios. Freya loves these things. Bringing a water bowl for them. They all share already, so the one is okay. And that's it. That's everything that fits in here. Everybody has their food, the things that they eat out of, water, treat pouch, treat, oh. toys. All that's left after this is the actual setup here for little Miss Bean here, who's giving me angry eyes because I won't let her out. <laughs> we're taking Cohen's car down because he has an SUV and can actually fit all of us. Again, hopefully we're gonna try to cram all this stuff in there. But the past few times that we have ridden down because Naya is such a big dog, and Freya is also such a big dog. Naya's been riding in his trunk because he has one of those like like exposed trunks. Like, you know, Naya can sit up and like look at us in the trunk, like she's not locked in a trunk. So Naya's been sitting in the trunk, Freya's been sitting in the back seat. Bela's still really tiny, so we're gonna put Bela in the back seat with Freya. That's our game plan. But the other game plan is just trying to find a place for the crate and her playpen and stuff like that. Because if Naya's in the trunk, then we don't have a trunk. So uh, yeah, we're we're trying this. Cohen just pulled his car around and he's gonna transfer the thing that's in my back seat like the little car hammock over to his car. I actually recently just got a new one. It's still in this box. So that one's gonna go into Cohen's car anyways, so that works out. Well, he's transferring the hammock over and then we're gonna start carrying everything down because we also have to make sure we have room for our stuff plus the dog stuff. Thankfully, it's just this one bag and then the crates for sure. If we can't fit the playpen, we don't need need the playpen, but I would like to bring it. But if we can't fit it, then just the crate and the dog bag. And then this is Cohen's bag, my bag. And this is a dog bed that sits in the trunk for Naya. So she has something to lay on. It's carpeted back there, but we still just you know bring a little bed for her so it's not like that much stuff but it's just can we all fit for a two-hour drive for the weekend that's the question Cohen just took all the bags and stuff down good girl so I'm gonna try to pack up the crate okay come on good girl yeah she always goes straight for water <laughs> there's no bowl there you gotta go to the other one no not that way why are you trying to reach over why not just come over here oh my there we go <laughs> The, her bed. I'm going on my first road trip. Oh, alrighty, everything's up. Let's get loaded into the car. Oh, you went into the side of the couch, of course you did. Why are you doing this, Bella? Come on. Yep. Back her up. The gang's all here. We got Freya. We got the bean. Hi, the bean. And now he's in the back already laying down, getting comfy. So. We made it to our destination. In case you guys didn't know, we are in the process of renovating a school bus. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching our little video of packing all three dogs up for the weekend to see like what we pack and how we pack for a weekend away with all three of them now. This is the first weekend that little Miss Bela Bean gets to come to the bus, so that's really exciting. If you guys have any questions, as always, let me know down below. And if you're not yet subscribed, please do because there will be weekly dog vlogs on this channel every single Friday, so make sure you don't miss out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you guys next week. Bye.